what's up guys welcome back to the channel as always i'm your co-host donovan quick and before we get started make sure you hit that like button that subscribe button and ring the bell get notifications for all our udfa videos are uh, going to be coming out with them and if you missed any of the other ones go ahead and check out the playlist 2024 rookie draft uh yeah, so for this one, we got an offensive lineman, a center in particular, uh, Andrew Mayer out of uh, UTEP. He stands six foot three, two ninety five. He runs a five oh forty. So he is a really technically sound uh, center, but I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't feel like six foot three for a center is undersized. But they're saying how he is really, really undersized. So he has to rely on his technique too much. Uh, because he lacks the size and strength to really compete with guys that do have the size and strength. And personally, I think that's just a bunch of BS. Um, I, I I do think that, you know, the guy that we signed last year, uh, I can't remember his name. He was like six foot tall. Now that is undersized. Six foot three is not undersized in my personal opinion. Uh, but I'm going through this and... Honestly, I like what I see about him. He he's a five year starter um, at, uh, for UTEP. He started thirty one games, and he is really good in the zone run scheme, um, which is what we run. Uh, so, I I foresee him. You know, if he can make an impact in camp, especially mini camp, get himself to uh, the actual camp with all the other starters and all the other uh, players on the team and show show this coaching staff something i think that he has the potential to be a borderline uh roster guy if not kind of be on the um the practice squad which is okay like he's an undrafted guy uh if your if your projection is is borderline roster to borderline uh practice squad I'll, I'll take that borderline right there rather than borderline practice squad borderline off roster completely, you know um, So I really like this guy. Uh, I think he has tremendous potential I want him to show us something in these camps uh, Show his leadership that he has once again bringing in a hard worker um, I'm sure our strength and conditioning guys are gonna get him, you know Get a little less fat off him a little bit more muscle on him uh, So he can take even more advantage with how technically sound he is because you don't really find guys like this that don't really need too much refining on their actual technique. Uh, more so, you need, you know, I, fixing his strength is the easy part. Fixing your technique is the hard part. Now, six foot three, 295, I think we can work with that. I think he has the potential to be our backup center. I know Liam Michael Burke's technically our backup center, but he's probably going to be starting at either left or right guard come this year. So I want an actual backup center because uh, Liam is not a backup center. He is a guard. He is a pro guard. Special teams, special plays, special players. Shout out, Sketch. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's what I got for y'all with this one. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this signing in the comments below. Do you think he has the potential to make the roster? Do you think he has the potential to eventually become a starter in the league? Let me know in the comments below. Deuces.